Hi, I'm Joey from Team 8680 Kraken Pinion, and uh, this is going to be some preliminary testing with a uh, claw style robot for this year's season. Um, so this is a robot that was mostly built from last year, very, very early on. Um, so it's a very basic program. Uh, the claw basically only goes all the way up or all the way down, so that's an issue. Uh, the main issue we've had with this right so far is if you don't get it perfectly lined up, uh, you're likely to just pull the pole down, and then uh, there's a big it, and then uh, it's very easy to launch projectiles this season if you pull it, and then it's not all the way down. It's very easy to just launch them off, at least on the low goals. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you, and also the following sponsors. SolidWorks brings a full suite of options that are free for first teams to download, including SolidWorks Cloud Cat apps for any device with a browser, and SolidWorks for Windows, where you can connect SolidWorks to the cloud for collaborating and managing data. Get it all for free at SolidWorks.com first. Apply the skills you gained as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is a top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. Our claw is just uh, some 3D printed little claws that run off of a servo and then we cut off uh, some resistance wheels, uh, like the green resistance wheels, we cut off the rims of those, and we use those as grip for picking up the cones, which works uh, really well. Um, we what we have on here are 1150 uh, yellow jacket motors from GoBuilda, and uh, they're very easily able to go over the low goals as long as there's no cone on it, of course. If you, Mateo, can you? Uh, and also, they're low enough that um, any decent, uh, the height of the wheels alone should be able to get over the uh, low goals. Um, but there is some issue of if you're at a standstill, they still, for the 1150s, they don't necessarily have quite the torque to uh, make it over. They can, but uh, from a standstill, it can be an issue. Uh, so the claw. It can work. Ours is not really set up for this season. It was a really early one from last season, as I said. So, but with some right programming, uh, the claw could work. Though the issue is, uh, you'd have to make it very big to reach the high goals, and it's not the fastest thing. Uh, and also, there's this issue of if you accidentally get it caught, um, lifting it back up, there's a good chance you'll just send the cones flying, which is uh, one issue so far. And also, it can be very annoying to uh, line up the robot. That's something you're going to have to learn as a driver. If you're using a claw, is lining it up so that the claw goes smoothly over the goals. Um, uh, other than that, uh, the size of it um, is works wonderfully. It's, I want to say, like 12 by 8 or so. Oh. I want to yeah. It's, I want to say the robot's like about 12 by 8, and it's uh, it's smoothly running around. There's no issues with interacting with objects. Um, there's no issue hitting anything really. You're gonna be able to navigate wherever you need. And then here you can see some of the issues. If you haven't quite learned how to line up the cone, it can be an issue. But that's just something that you can be done with practice. For this one. Of course, it was designed for last year, so it doesn't have the height necessarily needed. And also, the issue with the claw is um, if you don't design some sort of gimbal in it, you're going to have a very tough time um, picking up and fixing them if you knock them down. And then, yeah, the low goals are not going to be an issue necessarily to score in. It's just this robot's program is not very good for this. It's just all, all the way up, all the way down, so that's an issue. Oh, and that's also. So it's not a, it's a very, very bad early robot, but it, claws could work decently. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more like this, there's uh, more videos coming out on the fun, on Fun's YouTube channel. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. 
Apply the skills you gain as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is the top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. SolidWorks brings a full suite of options that are free for first teams to download, including SolidWorks Cloud CAD apps for any device with a browser, and SolidWorks for Windows where you can connect SolidWorks to the cloud for collaborating and managing data. Get it all for free at SolidWorks.com first. Special thanks to Team 8680, Cracking Pinion for hosting Robot in 30 Hours and also to their sponsors.